Hey guys, um, I want to do a a lowering spring, the two inches lowering spring. I'm gonna show y'all guys how to do it. I was looking all over YouTube trying to find the correct way to do it or how to do it. So I'm gonna do a how-to video, show everybody step by step what you should do and how you should do it. As you can see, I already did this side over here. I already did that side, so I got it lowered on this side already. I already did this side, but this is the side I'm about to do right here. I'm about to do this side. Listen, you need a star wrench or something because you gotta screw this out. This has to be screwed out. I tried to knock it out, but this has to be screwed out. So this is right, like the most important thing. You gotta screw this out right here. This has to be screwed out. I'm talking about you gotta find your star wrench or something. I got a bigger star wrench and I put it in there and you gotta screw it out. It's a 21 millimeter bolt. This nut, nut is 21 millimeter. You got that one. And then you got this one. Let me see if I get some light towards it. Oh, this is in here, that and up there. You got that one right there, which is a 21 millimeter, but you can get it on this side right here. You can just do that top one up there. And you gotta worry about this right here, so it'll loosen up by itself because it's got a thing right here that'll catch. Once you start to loosen, it'll just stop right here and it'll just, it'll just work its way out. So you don't have to put nothing up in there. Okay, and then they go your other 21 millimeter. You'll take this off and then you'll come over here and just screw it out. You gotta screw it out. You can't knock it out. Um, the top one you can knock out. You have to screw it up, up a little bit, then you can knock the rest of it out. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna come back to you guys. Hey, the next thing you're gonna do is jack it up at the rear end right here. And I always put a brace or something up under here and just to brace it up. So we're gonna get the rear end, get it off the ground. And then we just put a, I'm gonna use this thing right here, jack stand. Use the jack stand just to give me some extra support. Okay, we see the tires off the ground and I'll be right back with you. Okay, you see what I did here? I just braced it up just to have some extra support. So if it did try to fall, Okay, the next thing you do is, I just put, I just, you're going to need to use this right here or somewhere to back jack up on your bumper just to give yourself some, some relief to kind of move it back and forth, up and down, so you can make this right here, so you can get this part right here just right so it'll come out. So what you do is, uh, now next thing is I'm going to loosen all this up. I'm going to loosen this up, all that up there, and then I'll be back with y'all. But what you do is, you, once you get all this loose and get ready to start to work in it, you have to put you a jack here. Back here, this is what my, you know, my, my bumper thing. You put it right here and you start to jack it up because so you can get the tension off of this. Or you need to go up or down and you'll figure it out by just looking at it. All right, we'll be right back with y'all. Yeah, and here go the two tools you're gonna need. This, this is this is not the correct star size, I don't believe, but it, it, this one right here works. And this is your uh, 21 millimeter. But I think this one right here is a 1316, which is the same thing. Can y'all see that? Yeah, 13, 16. It's the same thing. 21 or 13, 16 does the same thing. So if you got a 13, 16, that's the same thing as your 21. All right, guys, so you're gonna need the 13, 16 or the 21 and this right here. Because I, I screwed it out with some pliers uh, because I didn't know that I had to screw it out. So I took a pair of grip pliers and screwed the last one out. But this right here is gonna make it a lot easier. All right, we'll be back with you. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all me loosen it. I'm just pulling down on it. I had already broke it, so I'm just pulling down on it right now. And I'll show y'all guys right quick how to screw this bottom one out. I'm sick enough, fine. Let's figure out how to edit it and fast forward it so it won't be as, as what it is, as long or whatever. I think I left the tube up top there. Okay, guys, let me show y'all. See what you do is. Just use that and just screw it out. It's a long, I mean, this is a better than using a screwdriver. I mean, the pliers or whatever, but I just screw it till you get it all the way out. You see the screw right here? I think I might have tapped it at first. I think you can tap it right here. 
Let me get my, let me get my right Okay, guys, you can tap it at first until you get the, the nut all the way. See what I'm talking about? Watch, I'm finna tap it. Ah. are in the inside of here so you can tap this much out and then you got to just screw the rest of it with the with the allen wrench so yeah guys you see how you do it like i said you could tap it from here till you get to right to you, you see what i'm talking about that's just a tappable part so you tap it to there then you just screw the rest of it out <clears throat> just screw the rest of it out that's all you got to do with your allen wrench i'll be back with y'all in just a okay, second i turned my light on so it'd be better Okay, I'm ready to loosen it. You see, you might need some goggles or some glasses or something. All the trash coming off in there. Just pull it out on them. That's the way. So you can put more weight on you. Take yourself and put weight on it or whatever. Remember, I told y'all about this side. I'm going to keep coming. Gotta keep coming till it comes. We see, it. see it. I'm just doing it for you in real time. What I did is I tapped the top one out first and did the bottom one last. Um, that's the way I did it. Now you can do the bottom one first, I guess, but I just did the top one first and uh, I did the bottom one last since it had a screw in it. I did it like that, so. But y'all guys see what I'm talking about. We'll be right back with y'all after we get this top one out. I'll show y'all how to get it out. Oh yeah, guys, do the top one first because when, when you take the bottom one out, the spring is gonna go up anyway. So do your top one first. I know I said you could do the bottom or top, but do your top one first. So that way when the spring, when the spring go up, it won't hit your hand or nothing. Okay, guys, we got the top one out. Okay, you see what it said I'm talking about? Now this is where you gotta use your jacket. You see that? See how that one went up? All right, I told y'all first time to do, do the, make sure you do the top one first, because once you do the bottom one, the spring, the leaf spring here is just going to go up once you pull it all the way out. Once you pull this all the way out, we're finna screw it now. But once we screw it all the way out, the leaf spring is going to make it. It's just going to go up. I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, what I did is I jacked it back. I got this back in line. And you just find something to stick in there, right? So this right here won't be in such a bind. You find something to stick in here. I'm going to show y'all. Let me just show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, the next thing you do, you see what I'm doing now? I gotta get this out of the, so it'll get out that bind. That's not a bind over there. I gotta screw this through. See how every time I screw it, it's going in. This right here is the longest part, really. If you had a, some kind of hand tool that you could put this on or something, and just use it just to screw it up. So this right here is gonna be hard at the longest part. Just trying to get this thing here to screw up. I'll be back with y'all, man. But let me show you, see, let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, come on, focus camera. And you just gotta keep screwing until you get it screwed up. All right, we'll be back, y'all, once we get this thing screwed up. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all what it do once you pull the bow out. And that's it. Screw it all the way. You just pull it out from there. Okay. Now, what they got to do is just get this out. I just took me a, um, let me show you. Get a hammer. Okay, I'm going 
lift up the helmet. Just tap it up here. Yeah, so you could, if it ain't on nothing, it's right, it's right here, you can kind of pull it out now. And we out. This is the one that was in there. So yeah, let y'all see. Okay, I'm gonna go get the old, the new one, and I'm gonna show y'all how to put it in. Listen, the only thing you gotta do is pull this guy and slip it, slip this up in there, okay? And then once you get ready to, to level it off, you just pull this back down. So it's, it's got a little bit of tension on it. Just pull it down and you put it back in there. All right, I'm gonna do it and I'll be right back with y'all. Like I guess I just pull it out on it, just pull it out on this. And what you'll do is you just pull on it a little bit to get it level, but it look like it's already level. Oh yeah, and you can't, um, yeah. what you have to learn too is, see so since I brought it up, you can't put it in from that way. You got you got to put both of them in from the same side now. So both of them have to start over here now. <coughs> what I did is I got the bottom one started last time first. Then I then I went up to the top because the top just slide all the way in. That's the way I did it. I'm gonna get started and I'll be back with y'all. Okay, what you do when it's not lining up? You see? I don't think it's all, it ain't all the way in line. You take your hammer and you kind of just bump it with the weight there to get it lined up. You see what I'm talking about? You bump it this way. Where you need it, I think I need to go somewhere. That's the way you help get it to line up. You use your helmet, you just bump it one way or the other. If you get the top one in line, you got to screw it in some because it got a nut on this end. So you got to screw it in some. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm screwing it in until it get to where it need to be. And I'll be back with y'all guys in just a second. But you got to screw it in. I'm gonna try it. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, y'all see what I just did? It's up in there. And now you just take your, your ratchet. <clears throat> See, you see, I thought I had to just start with it. You see it. And you're really done. I mean, y'all can handle the rest of it. Y'all got it, man. That's it. And you're done. Well, you know you got to put your nut on here. Let me show y'all. Let me go ahead and do that right quick. <laughs> What you do is you just get your nut. Let me see. Let me move this out of the way. Mm. And you just you just really tighten it up from right there. It'll pull it'll pull that in. Mm-hmm. And it'll put it in. You could tap it, I believe, to make it quicker. Let me see. Uh. Thank y'all for watching it. Um, I hope this helped you because I, like I said, I didn't have no tutorial for myself, so I just wanted to help somebody else, man. But y'all see, it's real simple to put the, do the two inch lowering, lowering thing. God bless y'all, guys. I hope this helped y'all. Um, step by step. I remember this, this right here was over here, and this was over here. Um, what you have to do is you have to put you a pair of pliers or get you an open end wrench to put it on here, and then use your Allen wrench to tighten it on down. I just want to make sure we cover all bases with you guys, man. Um, I think we got everything covered. But now we're good to go, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. This is the video after I done got it dropped. I don't have a video. 
I don't have a thing of it when it before it was dropped, but I do have a picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of it now and I'm gonna put the picture side by side.